Okay, this is homework video 3-8. I don't really require you to write anything down, but feel free to use these problems for part of your daily homework, the three problems that you got to copy down and write two sentences for. For this to get full credit, all you need to do is write the five words to let me know that you watched this from beginning to end. You could even write those at the bottom of tonight's daily homework if you want and I'll give you credit for both the daily homework and watching this video. All right, so here we go. So today we talked about rotations where you're taking something and rotating it around a point. Different than a translation, which is just moving over and up or moving down and to the right. Sliding is a translation. Different than a reflection, which is taking this and flipping it over an x-axis or a y-axis, a rotation, has you take it and spin it. The first word is red, red. So here I go. I'm going to show you how to do it with the tracing paper. So the first thing I need to know is clockwise is around like the hands of a clock. They go in a certain direction. That is clockwise. Make sure you understand that direction. And around the origin, that is this middle point right here, the origin. So I'm going to put on a piece of tracing paper here. I'm going to trace the vertices of this triangle, X, Y, and Z. I'm going to put a dot in the middle at the origin with a little arrow pointing up. That's going to be my orientation arrow. So I'm going to take my pencil and hold my paper down and spin it so this arrow turns a quarter turn clockwise to the right. It's a little tricky, but it takes practice. So holding my paper down, spinning my arrow to the right, I could see that the new location for my triangle is down here. I don't want you to take the chance and try to lift that up and guess. I want you to draw so hard on these points that the point in the pencil goes through so you see exactly where those need to go. So what I do, I take my pencil and I draw on those points really hard and deep almost trying to go through the paper itself or maybe even just put a little dent on the paper below it so I could see I could see my little dents so right here I need to make sure I double check that I have the right vertices so unless you remember I'm gonna take my paper and put it back down and double check that I have those correct vertices after that quarter turn clockwise. And I can see the right one is X, Y, and Z. Make sure you label those correctly. Don't want to mess those up. We use the little symbol, prime symbols, to show that this is the new X and the new Y and the new Z. That's what those little marks are. The original has no marks. So you know without these marks, that was it before the transformation, before the rotation. With these little prime marks, that shows you this was after the rotation. The second word is dog, dog. So now for this, I want you to find this vertice X after it's been rotated. So I can see the new vertice for X is right here. And it's just up to me to be able to write that as a correct coordinate. So know that. I'm going over right 3 and down 2 on the y-axis. That is the point 3, negative 2. So again, try to make sure you nail that coordinate and get that right. If you need help with coordinates, let me know. Again, remember this is the x-axis, positive numbers. This is the y-axis, positive numbers. This is the x-axis, negative numbers the y-axis negative. So again, this point is 3, negative 2. If I put the pointer right here, that is the point negative 3 for x and 1 for y. That's negative 3, 1. If I put the pointer right here, that is the point 2 for x, 4 for y. If I put the pointer right here, that is the point negative 2 for x, negative 3 for y. If I put the pointer right here, that is the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for x, 1 for y. The harder ones are on the axes themselves. This point is going left to right 0 for x, but up 2 for y. That's the point 0, 2. This point right here is over 3 for x, 
but not up or down for y. So that's the point three, zero. So hopefully you know these coordinates. Hopefully that helps. All right, keep going. Next one. And again, that is a quarter turn to the right. All right, the one underneath. Again, I'm going for this one, 90 degree quarter turn, but I'm going against the clock. I'm going counterclockwise to the left. So make sure you know the difference between clockwise to the right and counterclockwise to the left. And this one is still about the origin. So I put my tracing paper down, trace all three vertices, X, Y, and Z. Put a point at the origin with a little orientation arrow, and I'm going to watch this shape as I turn this arrow a quarter turn to the left. So I'm going to put my pencil on that point, turn the paper, keeping my pencil there, don't want to move that point, and that turn quarter to the left. I could see the new location for my triangle. I'm going to fill in those pretty hard so I could see through my paper exactly where they are. And I could barely see there, but I think that's correct. I'll put my paper back down to double check. I'm going to double check my vertices X, Y, and Z. As I fix my pencil there. So double check, double check. So that one right here is going to be X. Top one's going to be Y, bottom one's going to be Z. And I put those little prime numbers on there to show that those are the new X, Y, Z coordinates after the rotation. So this is X1, Y1, Z1. So now again, find that coordinate. That coordinate is negative 2 for X and 1 for Y. If I were to have you find the other coordinates, Y prime would be negative 2 for X. 3 for y. Z prime would be negative 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4 for x, 1 for y, negative 4, 1. This point right here would be 1 for x, 2 for y, the point 1, comma 2. This would be 1, 2, 3 for x, 2 for y, the point 3, comma 2. So again, get the help that you need on those coordinates. The next word is cat cat. Two more words to go. Alright, so the third one I'm going to do is the third word or the next word is river. River. This one is 90 degrees counterclockwise to the left about the origin. So I'm moving this counterclockwise against the way a clock goes. Clock goes this way counterclockwise goes the other way. So I take my tracing paper, label X, Y, Z, this one I'm just going to label X I believe, I think I just did X, I'm going to put my pencil down, turning it a quarter turn to the left. Where that ends up, I'm going to fill in those points really dark and deep so I can see underneath. I see the top point is X, so that's going to be the new X prime up there. And this one really went through so I can see those really easy. double checking putting in the others you should always label all three always make sure you have those labels on there so this is Z prime and Y prime alright but this one I'm asking for X so X is negative 1 for X and up 1 2 3 4 for Y and again, know those coordinates. So again, negative 1, 
one, two, three, four is that point right there. Don't mix and match the numbers for this x and y. This is the coordinate, negative one for x, four for y. So hope this video helps. The last word is wave, wave. Good luck.